Здравствуйте, Welcome back to another glorious Soviet Sunday, where I hope to accomplish a lot down south of the river, south of the mountains even, perhaps I should say north of the lake. Folks, we are finally going to start investigating our options as far as oil is concerned. Uh, it will take us some time to set up the new industry, of course, and I want to make sure our old industries are being you know, built up properly first, but this might be the session where we finally start tapping into the vast oil reserves that our glorious land has to offer. Look at the size of our nation. It's massive. It's kind of ridiculous how big it is. It just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. It is absolutely huge. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. And I hope you all are as well, folks, if you've been enjoying this series and y'all want to see it continue. Like I say always, do not hesitate to let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. It makes such a big difference so I can kind of tell what people are interested in watching on the channel and what I should keep going. We all were kind of joking about it last session. Haha, <laughs> this was supposed to be a mini Let's Play. Yeah, this was supposed to be 10 episodes and I was going to be done with the game. But I fell in love with it and I'm glad to see many of y'all did as well. Uh, so here we are, episode 92, barreling towards a century here. Barreling. Absolutely barreling. And actually, on the topic of century, barreling towards uh, the year 2000 as well. Oh man, I just missed my, uh, well not birthday, birthday, but you know, I'm not born yet. A anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, folks, there is a lot to do today. Like I said, we want to maybe start tapping into the oil reserves down over here. I think I briefly mentioned that last session as well, that that's what I want to take a look at next. We've got plenty of uh, oil in the area. In fact, if I go ahead and pull out the uh, oil, sorry, the oil well, the oil rig, you'll see that there are some good spots right up over here where the rib, uh, where the road already reaches down to. Uh, let's make sure we turn auto build off before I make a horrible mistake. I hope I didn't just auto build something. Oof, that would hurt. Uh, but yeah, so we've got oil over here. We've got oil um, down over here as well. There, there's plenty of oil around these parts, so I'm, I'm quite excited to finally tap into them. Uh, oil rigs don't even require workers, at least the last time I checked, they didn't require workers. So we can start pumping oil right away. We can pump oil, we can process it maybe over here and have it shipped up. Uh, oil needs to be used for a couple of different things, right? We need oil for our uh, plastics primarily. If we take a look at various industries, I believe. Uh, yes, plastics factory. So the plastics factory requires, yeah, 35 tons of oil and 10 tons of chemicals. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the chemical factory, which is where? The chemical factory is here. Yeah, the chemical plant also requires oil. So there will have to be a bit of a centralized position for all that oil to go into so that it can be converted into chemicals, which can then in turn be converted into fabrics with the help of crops, but also into plastics at the plastic factory with the help of what is it again? I'm already... There's so many moving parts. I love how many moving parts there are, but there are so many. Right, chemicals and oil together. There it is. It's going to be wild. It's going to get busier. And again, we might actually have to ship some goods over to the uh, car factory, the vehicle production line. I don't think we can just produce everything over here because we're getting pretty close to Brixtonia. It's going to get very polluted there. What I might want to do is pull oil up to like this area using the trains perhaps and uh, sort of process it here and then ship it up over here for what's needed there and use the trains perhaps to ship it back down for anything down over here i don't think we need fuel or rather not fuel but oil down over here and actually on that note fuel oil refinery yeah we'll need bitumen for some stuff right we need it for like asphalt and stuff um yeah this is a whole oh man this is another massive industry that just needs so much uh, so many parts and a little bit of mathematics as well to make sure we have a, a good balance of things That is with the tracks, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good Well folks, we'll be exploring that but that might be closer to like after the halfway like, I'm hoping to get to it this session But it might be after the midway point because there's a lot of stuff that we've already planned that I would like to see uh, Come to fruition before we get too ahead of ourselves and then spend you know 20 episodes just watching things get built uh, So we're gonna go ahead and hit play maybe even go double time. It's the 6th of December 1985 We're at 7.7 million rubles. So we have plenty of money. Our economy is looking pretty solid uh, Let's take a look at this year real quick, right? Like this year. We spent a lot of money. That's fine um, Oh, right if we look at the imports I was talking about the import of crops and where it might be happening and some of y'all were suggesting that maybe it is this chemical plant. No, it's not. I've, what could it be? I really, I, I really want to figure this out 
so that we don't have it going into January. In fact, why not let's take a moment here. I hope you all don't mind, but I want to take a moment to try and review our uh, our imports and prevent them so that when January comes around, uh, we've already taken care of it and then next year will be a better comparison because from last year to this year, we've done well, but as you can see, uh, for example, iron still got carried over because it was a few days into January that I made the changes. Um, so I, I just want to kind of be cleaner with that stuff. Man, we didn't import any clothes this year. No clothes, a little bit of food. That was again, I think, because we made it into January. Yeah, see? All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and props. I wish I could see. Oh, you know what? Maybe. I haven't used this tool too much, but maybe if I say crops, it'll tell me where we use it at least. So here we have a storage. Here we have a storage. Here we have a storage. It's not none of this is importing crops. And nor should it ever. We have such a surplus. We have a ridiculous surplus. Down over here, a massive surplus. Over here is where we do some buying. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn off the auto purchase over here. It's very possible that it was um, buying rather than pulling, right? That is a possibility, because to be fair, yeah, I think that's what it is. This is only 61 tons. It's not that much that it has immediate access to. We really need to be shipping crops a little bit faster. We really need to be shipping crops a little bit faster. Because this train over here, right now it's topped up, but every time it comes through, it runs 108 tons. Right, and the ship itself takes forever to get up there. 165 tons over here to pull up. How much do we have over here? Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about, because we do have the overflowing um, fields back over here. Now, some of y'all have extra, don't you? Yeah, let's go ahead and change that medium field to this one instead right and get rid of that stop all right and then a couple of these had extra vehicles assigned to them go ahead and get you coming over to here and then to here load everything please don't unload crops onto a field that would not make sense there we go so you pick up from here and you unload back at the barn yeah so these are taken care of no crops over here yet this is taken care of. This one needs some loving. If I can find the other extra vehicle. It is kind of wild. There we go. It is kind of wild. Oh no, you're working for the farm. So that's different. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to that one later. Okay, so that should help us bring more crops up over here, which will in turn go there, go there, go all the way back up there. Again, maybe I should build a connection up here rather than do this no we don't need to sorry we don't need to look at this we've got all the crops we need up over here what am i saying all right so i think that's probably where the crops are being imported if i'm completely honest because i see nowhere else where crops are um being used we checked all these buildings right yeah we checked these buildings this was the only one that was importing yeah um up over here Nothing was importing. Everything's got a stock of it. And nothing down over here that needs crops. Okay, so I feel like that's it. Let's check down over here as well, just to be sure. Yeah, not importing here. In fact, we have a huge surplus. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. I think that should be the end of crops being imported. So that's that taken care of. Boards being imported. I, I assume that's only because of some construction I was doing at some point. So uh, hopefully with um, with that out of the system, we're good. Bricks being imported, same thing. Cement has been constantly imported because of this situation over here. We have gravel. Once we get coal, we'll start producing it ourselves, which is what we're working on right now. Okay, mechanical components. That's construction, steel, same thing. Concrete, same thing. Asphalt, same thing. Quarried stone. All right, now that's a bit of a joke. Let's go ahead and try and solve that. I want to try and solve these things before we unpause because if we unpause, we start barreling towards our deadline, right? start barreling towards our deadline so quarried stone seriously we're buying how do i get stone here there's no factory connections or anything just a road connection and two vehicles go in there at any given time but it's quick it's a quick dump right so let's go ahead and build under what is it various industry no 
under under gravel. There we go. Gravel quarry to get the quarried stone. Because that is what we're importing, right? Quarried stone, yeah. Okay. So, construction. Gravel. Gravel quarry. Problem is finding good spots where we haven't already built things up. We can put one down maybe over here. And build it an infrastructure. This is a densely, densely, densely packed area. We've got more spots as well. I mean, there's uh, lots of opportunities up over here. Right? And again, it's a, it's a short ride over. We might be able to make it even shorter if we can add a road over here. Nonetheless, this is where the resource is, so this is where we kind of have to go anyway. So let's go ahead and plan around that. Maybe get uh, one over here. We'll take a second just to flatten a little bit. Not too much flattening, thankfully. But yeah, getting people up here is going to be the other problem. You actually need people to work these mines, obviously, these quarries. Hmm. We'll sort it out. There's a bus stop over here. We might need people to be dropped off directly. Might need to get a new, like, micro bus or something like that. Just to get some people up here. Because it is kind of silly. We have these giant mountains available to us and we're not using them to, <laughs> to any benefit whatsoever. Come on now. Come on now. You got this game. I believe in you. I'm, like, constantly moving the goalposts so I can just get it done a little bit faster. Come on. Just those small points. There we go. Almost there. A little bit more. So, yeah, once we get these down... I'm thinking, what, we need, like, maybe two? Maybe three? Right? Maybe. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. We're not auto-building. Put another one down over here. We can put them down pretty densely packed, actually. No, it's gonna definitely tell me that there's another building nearby. It has to, right? I should actually check the roads. There we go. Too steep of a descent. Yeah. Shouldn't be surprised. Shouldn't be surprised at all. Oh, that, that is a pretty steep descent, to be fair. Try and smooth this out a little bit. And again, we have the uh, infrastructure that's already there. That's obviously going to cause some problems. Okay. I thought I saw it turn green at a point there. Come on now. I know I saw you. There it is. Not not big enough to make an impact. I might just leave the the, the quarries for some other time, just because it's gonna it's gonna take some time to do this. I don't know if I'll feel like investing that time right now. If I'm completely honest, sides are too steep. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do this some other time. And what I can do is I can time lapse this terraforming and then get the the roads down and stuff. Or alternatively, I did notice there's this patch over here. Which we could uh, take a look at, because that'll probably be easier to tap into. We can do like this kind of a thing. It's 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 okay quality goods or quality um, location or whatever you want to call it. Okay, can I just flatten it? Not a name. There we go. Flatten it. There we go. Wow. Okay, this will take forever as well. I mean, I get it. It's on the mount. It's on a mountainside. I just don't know if I have the patience for it right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Work that terrain. Nope. Okay. I, I don't have the patience for this right now. <laughs> I'll do it some other time. I'll do it with a time lapse at some point when I feel like it. Um, maybe we won't get to January because the days do tick slowly. Maybe we won't get to January and I can do it like next session or something. Uh, what else have we got going on? Fuel, oil. That'll all be there still. Iron ore, electronics. Nothing else we can really control, I think, just quite yet. Yeah, nothing just quite yet. All right, cool. Well, that's that check. Population's at 13K, so that's looking good. Unemployment is still pretty low. Average productivity is 99%. That's great. And we're looking at, uh, if we look at this year, 99 escapes. That's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. Last year, we had over 4,000. So life has certainly gotten better uh, in our glorious Soviet Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and hit double speed right away. No reason to wait, I think. Let's go ahead and do it. And based on your feedback in the comments, we are in fact going to go ahead and just pay for these tunnels. Or at least one of them. We'll pay for one of the tunnels. Uh, let's pay for the right tunnel here. That, that's how you know it's the correct one. 
right? Because it's the right tunnel. I'm going to wait until these workers go away. Look at how quickly it's being done now, though. Well, to be fair, it's because I'm at double speed. But all these workers have just arrived. I mean, we're almost at 50% for both of them. Oh, God. It's so, it's so difficult. Like... Those of you that voiced an opinion all said, yeah, just pay for it. And then many, of course, didn't voice an opinion, so I take that as being like an abstaining from voting. We're at what? 25%. It's bare. Actually, you know what? It's, it's quite slow. It's like barely nudging forward. Thankfully, work days are reducing, obviously, faster than one per day as it goes by. I think we're going to wait until this session is done, like this... Uh, set of workers leaves and then we'll go ahead and pay for the one that's cheaper because there's still a lot of track to lay down over here right there's still a lot of work for these uh that construction office to do now down over here another recommendation that came through is that i should perhaps build a couple of essentials for one we're going to need an electric substation <laughs> at least one. Oh, of course the sun's gonna set now Close to it. We're gonna need an electric substation. Perhaps somewhere over here. Good central spot. It's powering a lot of buildings. So we might not see smooth supplies. Right, gotta remember how there's like the voltage cap and stuff like that. Uh, what do we got in terms of outputs actually? What do we got left here? Uh, one high, three lows. And I believe we've already connected our steel plant, right? Because I want to know we haven't. Okay. So that's good to know. All right, well, when the sun comes back up, we're going to go ahead and pull from the power plant, build another transformer, maybe somewhere over here, bring large power down, large power over, connect to the steel mill, um, and then send some large power up for our car manufacturing as well, and then bring one large down to supply V-Raw and uh, the oil industry and stuff as well. We're moving at double speed, so the sun will be up in no time. Looks like a lot of this construction is getting done as well pretty swiftly. There's the sun. Here comes the sun. Good stuff. Let me just do a quick check over here. Wow, okay, that came up a lot faster than expected. No blockages. No blockages, good. In fact, on the topic of no blockages, do you still have an issue? Launch. Okay, yes you do. So, I've been told that apparently the ships now have to exit the borders to, uh, to get work done. And there might be an issue with exiting the border here or something. So, I'm going to go ahead and terraform the water a touch. Or not the water, but the coastline a touch. And hopefully, free up some room for our boat to make its way out. Because that seems to be the problem. And if this is the only solution, then so be it. Because I want to trade with the Soviets, and if it's the only way to do it, then it's fine. This level of, you know, terraforming a coastline in the 80s is, I would say, reasonable. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we've seen some pretty massive, uh, not just, you know, land reclamation projects, but also, um like damming projects and stuff like by the 80s we were doing this a lot now i might be wrong i might be mistaken i'm not super familiar with this stuff but uh, i'm pretty sure we'd be fine why what's the problem man you, you've got greens everywhere you're all good you're able to come through what if we okay we're trading everything except for uranium oxide and crops right so let's go ahead and i, I already did this but let's go ahead and delete that stop and then add it again. Nope, still a problem. It's closest point to target destination that vehicle can reach. Do you have to get rid of more? I don't want to... It seems weird, you know? It just seems weird. Alright, let's go ahead and check this so we know un un reinstalling the stop doesn't make a difference. Um, where's my terraforming? Guess we can try a little bit more over here. I don't want to overdo it. Again, this isn't even my territory. I'm technically encroaching on my neighbors and just adjusting their land. Like, uh, no, Tavrish, you have, uh, you have more water now. You can't complain about more water. Future wars will be fought over, uh, over water. 
So uh, I'm just giving you more of it. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if this helps. I'm, I'm gonna try and like clear a path to that star over there. Honestly, it makes no sense to me. Honestly, it just makes absolutely no sense to me. Still digging away. But yeah, we'll maybe get a path over here. Well, it's taking forever. And I can't use the road method out here because it's out of my zone of control, as it were. There we go. It's nice when it goes through smoothly. Alright, if this doesn't work, then uh, we're obviously ignoring this. It's a problem because we can't export anymore. But I guess we've got massive uh, construction projects going on. I just have to adjust how we take things to the warehouse versus the customs house. That's all. That's all I'll have to do. All right, that's good enough, I think. Let's see what the boat says now. Still nothing. Still nothing, and I can't tell. It's all greens. We have no issues, no reds. All's well. Oh, and, and if I'm going to trade with the... Uh, with NATO, we have to go all the way down over here. It'll take forever. It'll take... Oh, no, I guess there's a Soviet exit there as well. But... <laughs> The game automatically picks its its exit. And I like force you out here? No. Oh. Man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Well, let's at least get something going here. Gotta move these resources. This place is being piled up. So let's get you moving. Because we gotta get the crops moving as well, right? All right. Well, it is what it is. We'll we'll deal with that again. It's we're on the beta branch, so it's likely to have some issues. Our economy is doing fine without it. It would be doing stellar with it, but it's doing fine without it. So it's not the end of the world. How are these buses doing right now? Pretty well. Mm, bringing only a handful of people through. I think it's largely because yeah, once we get these buildings done, we'll be in a better place. What's up with our population actually? Sixty-eight adults still living with parents. Now, do we have over here um, adults living with parents? Oh, man. This is even more in-depth than I thought it was. Children can't go to school because there's no school or places available. Is that children or young adults? Because there are schools in the area here. Yeah. Uh, okay, uneducated workers, workers with low education, higher education, children, children, adult children. There we go. So we do have some over here. This is a very, very powerful tool. Alright, cool. Looks like they're all over here. So we'll scoop them up from over here. I imagine there's some up over here. No, they're not. Okay. Some down in Brixtonia, perhaps? Yes, quite a few in Brixtonia, actually. Well, they'll be moving to the big city, I suppose. Oh, you can actually see the skyscrapers from over here. It's like an actual shot from like a movie. You step out and you look to the, the skyline that you one day wish to, you know... Be a part of as it were well you know as soon as these buildings are maybe done which is very close on the topic of very close where is my tunnel there it is these guys are still chipping away still chipping away they're both below half a million now at least we're keeping that constant supply of work going oh let's just do it Let's just do it. They're both below half a million. We're almost at 8 million, right? Let's just do it. Yes, yeah, the workers have dropped. Let's do one of them. I hope you're the right one. Yes, you are. Wonderful. And look at how long it takes, even when you're just paying for it. it takes forever. <laughs> oh my god, that does take forever. And then we'll have the uh, construction office, of course, continue working down the, uh, the track. We have two. Maybe I should buy a third one. Well, no. Let's let's wait for it. What I will need to do is eventually I'll have to build a crossing uh, on the other side of the bridge so that um, it can come through the one that's been built. Like, trains can come through the one that's been built and then crossed over, at least during the construction process. At least during the construction process. All right, what are we looking at down over here? So over here, like I was saying, we need to get not just power, but also um, refueling stations. Let's start with the refueling stations so that our construction vehicles are able to... Uh, they don't have to turn back around. Are you serious? Are we done here? Almost. 
Almost. Very close, actually. Um, what am I looking for? Equipment for citizens. Gas station, gas station. No, I guess it's under road only. I was hoping it'd be under both, but I guess it's only under road. Bus stop, trolley bus stop. Gas station, there we go. No, one-way gas station. Oh, it's a through... Oh. But one way. Okay, interesting. Now, why would I do that rather than this? I guess it's easier for flow of traffic. I wonder if I put it out to the side over here and then have the road come out and then back in. That might be a nice way to do it. Just on your way from the tunnel. Not on your way to the tunnel, though. We'll put one here and one over there. Let's see, can I fit one over here? I can. Could be interesting. Let's let's check it out. Let's see what it might look like. And we'll pay for these. We'll pay for these. We don't have to um, build these ourselves, I think. Put one over here. And then one over here. Here. Yeah, we want to go on the right side, right? Yeah. There we go. Flatten that a bit. Can we get a bit closer? Yes, we can. All right. And then the road. Hmm. That's the downside. These roads, they don't, uh, they don't quite work like tracks, right? Where you, where they snap to each other. Let's see. I would do something like. This, okay, I think I've got an idea. There we go. There we go. Huh, I actually kind of like how that looks quite a bit. That's our, like, fueling complex over here. Now the question becomes, when I bring fuel to these, how does it get supplied? Hmm. It has to be driven to it. Okay, fair enough. Because I was like, do I have to have an oil like pipe connection or what? Alright, cool. Let's just go ahead and pay for these. Again, they're not very expensive. 11k. Go for it. And go for it. There we go. Cool. So now when uh, construction vehicles need to refuel, they can refuel over here. Rather than have to go all the way back up to somewhere up here. Oh, we're out of no workers down here right now. Interesting predicament. Do we have a vehicle coming here, though? No, the microbuses no longer come down here. Minibuses, microbuses, whatever you want to call it. You're going to the fire station? Well, that is an interesting predicament. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And I can't rely on someone in a car making their way down. Okay, no, you're going to the coal power plant. All right. I guess it'll just take some time, and the buses will be up and running soon. Can you imagine, be, or the uh, trolley buses? So, the, the point was brought up very well, actually, in the comments. Um, the value of the trolley bus is that we don't use fuel, so we end up saving money on fuel because we don't have to uh, keep refueling. So, great point. That's, that's the value. That's the best value there. Alright, cool. So, the tunnel has been completed. Now, hopefully, you are under construction. Construction is not assigned to a construction office. I believe I gave you the auto search order, did I not? Fair enough. Let's go ahead and add you. Oh, sorry. That's My bad. I meant you. Oh, yeah. We're 45. What? Okay. There. Done. Get to work. It's a long stretch of land. We can't uh, connect to that yet, but we'll get there in due time. Power is back. Almost. Where's our, where's our little bus? Oh, you're stuck here? Are you kidding me? Wow. That's a problem. That is a problem. Hmm. Can I? Nope. Can I even go to the depot, obviously? Can I get you to go to a depot? Can't go to that one. Oh, this is a problem. Everything has come to a standstill. Got a depot back there, right? I know what I'm gonna do here. If if this will unlock the bus. Glad I checked. It will not. Wow, okay, this is a serious problem. Uh, I can sell this road vehicle, obviously, but no. 
No, that's not that's not viable. Here's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna go ahead and finally, we've been talking about this for a while, but we finally found a solid reason why we can no longer delay the connection of the two power um sources. Have changed wow, they've really changed the uh wiring options as well. Even even more numbers to to math. Okay, hold on, let's stay focused here. Where's our cable in? I wish going into this section would highlight the wires. Okay, so we've got some up there. And where is our hub here? Down here. Okay. We go straight up across this way. We must eventually come close. Okay, up over here. And up over there. Where it transitions over to here. And then goes down this way. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and build a modded power substation. There we go. Wait, does it need to be a substation? No, it needs to be a switch. Uh, not the transformer, right? No, it does. Yeah, it needs to be the switch. Okay, cool. We'll put that down over here. Go ahead and get rid of you. The switch down over here. It's a four-way connection. Cannot build you to infrastructure. What well, infrastructure? You are the infrastructure. Pop that down over there. Alright. Go ahead and pay for you. Yep. Yeah. And then let's get our wire. I don't know if it'll work the way I intend it to, actually, now that I think about it. Now, which ones are these? I, I don't recognize the icon anymore. Are these 2.35 or are they... No, that's two different kinds. There we go, okay. Let's get you hooked up over here. Get you hooked up over here. And let's get you pulling down. Over to where? Over to he here. Wow, okay, that's a long way to go. Alright, not a problem. Get you over to here. It'll be pricey, but worth it, I think. Get you up this way. And hooked like so. Cool. This had better do the trick. We're spending a lot of money on this. Spending a lot of money on that. And where is our switch? Got to make sure that gets built as well. There you are. Come on now. We'll just... Okay, let's wait until this is built. Oh, the switch is already done. Right, I already commissioned that, didn't I? Yep. Hopefully we're good now. No, because that is not an in, that is an out, right? Should have known. I had a feeling, that's what I was saying. I, I have a feeling that's not going to work. Um, oh, jeez, there's there's a lot of problems going on right now. This is entirely clogged up, actually. All right, hang on. This is the downside of double-speeding it. Hang on, hang on, all right. I can't even see my wire connection over here. So you are... You're receiving power. You're not producing power. Oh, I see what the problem is. This thing is not connected to the main supply. You're connected to your own little thing, aren't you? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and... You connect up this way. You go to here, which goes here, and then connects to here. So let's go ahead and separate that for now. Can't believe I'm doing this. Gotta pull it up to there. Until we get some stability here. Until we get some stability here. We're gonna have to do this. And I know it's goofy, but... Because of the distance being covered and the money being spent, but it's necessary, I think. Let's see, so once that gets done... There we go, there it is. Okay, beautiful. Now, back up over here. What is going on... Over here? Just this loop of... Death. Let's send you back to the loading. Alright. That should maybe free that up. Yeah, you're gonna U-turn. Okay. You're stuck over there. What are you doing? Construction offices. Here I thought I'd solve the problem. Most certainly have not. You're gonna U-turn? Yeah, you are. Pull all you back to the road cargo station. We're going to play at regular speed right now for a second. 
Oh wow, it's already January. Okay, you're all looping back. Now we're able to free these guys out a little bit. I have certainly overloaded this area. Go in there. Get you the sawmill. As many U-turns as we can do here. This is a hot mess. Flip you around as well. There we go. There we go. Things are moving again. No wonder workers weren't showing up at the, um... At the, uh... Well, construction sites or even the, I was going to say the construction office, the rail construction office. This entire road was clogged up. I wish they would take the uh, relief roads that I've built for them. I guess not that it would help. It was this circle that's been clogged up. Hmm. They got to sort that out, don't I? What if I do something like that? The vehicles can go out this way if necessary. Not gonna wanna unless I put a waypoint down. Where's my waypoint? There we go. Put it down over here. You go from there to there. And then when you're on your way back, you come up this way. Same thing goes for you, buddy. You go into the real construction office, I don't care. You go down this way, and on your way back, you come up this way as well. It's a bit of a longer route, but I think it'll make a worthwhile difference. Go down this way, yeah. And then on the way... So that's for the aggregate storage. So there, 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 and then on the way back, go here first. Okay, cool. That might help a little bit. Just every little bit I can get right now. <laughs> Need to kind of force it. Hang on. Go through the waypoints. Yeah, do your U-turn. We should be good. We should be good. These are going to start emptying out now. These trucks are going to start leaving. And that should free up the uh, the backup. Wow, the jam was back, eh? The jam was back. Now, it is January. It's <laughs> January. Oh, God, that's terrible. Let's check what our imports are looking like. I mean, I'm glad I did my... Uh... Wow, I'm really glad I did the tunnel last year. Made last year extremely expensive, I think. But I'm glad I did it last year. This year. Boards. Where are we importing boards? Oh, you know what? For the um, switch we built, I guess. Electronic components, fair. Steel, fair. All construction goods. Okay. Gravel is still being imported. Fuel, of course. Oil, of course. Iron ore. Yep, we knew that. Quarried stone, of course. Coal. Oh, right. No, actually, where is coal being imported? Apparently, we need it up here. What? Are you kidding me? We need to get more workers up there. All right, well. What? <laughs> this, to me, has been the biggest, uh, like, point of confusion. Sometimes we have an overflow. Sometimes we don't have nearly enough. This vehicle's on its way over. Uh, just a matter of time, I guess matter of time. A little bit of coal here and there is not the end of the world. Okay, how is our construction doing down at Uprising Grad? How is it doing? We've got uh, this one done. Indeed we do. So let's go ahead and pick up some 21 pluses. There we go. One, two, three over here. Wish I could... I don't want to relocate 10. I want to relocate exactly how many 21 pluses we have. Put you there. Uh, what else am I looking at? Hopefully some of these guys will redistribute themselves. Same thing over here. Let's go ahead and pull 10 from down here. Because they should be moving. Let's go up here. There we go. New residents. They should be moving. Maybe they're not. It's okay. We have plenty of room down over here. Plenty of folks with aspirations for the big city life. So aspirations being fulfilled right now. Let's go ahead and move 10 from over here as well. Cool. Again, we don't want to overload that area just quite yet. 
We still don't have the entirety of the infrastructure. We need 30 people over here. All right, let's go ahead and, and dump a bunch. Let's go ahead and... Uh, sorry, let's go ahead and uh, give a bunch newfound opportunities. There. Did 10 extra, so there's a little bit of wiggle room. What else have we got over here? 7, 6, 10, 9... Yeah, you see, they, they, they do move around themselves as they're supposed to when there's space nearby. Oh, oops, I filled that one up by mistake. It's okay, it's no big deal. You're topped up, you're topped up. You have 98 out of 368, okay, cool. And people here are going where they wish. Kinda wanna force them to get up to the uh, stop up there. Let's do that. Let's do that, let's make sure we're getting a constant flow of workers down over here and also a constant flow of uh, workers to the construction sites. Because I do believe that's where these construction offices are going, right? Pick up workers? Yeah, the Vira Big Cableway Station. Hold on a second. Big Cableway Station. No, 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 no. That's a construction site. I meant to look at this. Workers from the Uprising Grab Trolley Bus Stop. Yeah, up over here. Cool. Number of students waiting. Lots of students looking for post-secondary education. Is it time to maybe build a university over here? That just seems like not the right time to do it. You know, it seems a little premature. In fact, though, hold on. If I build... If I build the headquarters of the Communist Party, it says it's a university. So, hypothetically, people should be able to come here to study. I could try that. Oh, man, it's huge. I want this all to be housing. How am I going to fit that? How am I going to fit that? I can put this down over here. And then add uh, some... Uh, what are they called? Hostels. University right residences down over here. That one. I feel about the same number of people. Just a different shape. Yeah, we could maybe do that. Headquarters of the Communist Party at Uprising Grad, or the Technical University, which has a wonkier shape. Maybe we do the Technical University. I think it kind of makes sense because we've got the uh, automobile industry and stuff over here. And then what we'll do is we'll get the headquarters of the Communist Party back at the Capitol. I've been that's been requested for a while, and I do want to do it. I just haven't had the uh, opportunity to find the perfect like kind of spot for it. So let's go ahead and put the university down over here. I think. I think it's a good place for it. You kind of drive by it on your way to and from the, the factories, the industry for which the people are learning. For sure, if I put you down over here, lots of footpath connections. We're going to have to have a bus bring kids down here, though, obviously. Though there are a couple of parking lots where folks can go as well. So that's good. If I drop you down right over here, you'll have power. Come on now. There we go. And then we've got the hostels as well, the, the residences, which we can put down like so. Hmm. Like so. I'm trying to figure out a nice layout for this. Again, there's these as well. They're a bit more square shaped, I suppose. That might not be a bad idea. Do something like that. Hmm. Okay, so this is this is a spot for it. I don't mind it, but I have been talking about putting them up over here instead. Right, and it can be slim. And this university does have the right shape for that concept of mine. Go ahead and flatten a little bit. I think I can get close to the road. Come on now. Can't build it infrastructure. There we go. There we go. Okay, so if we get nice and close to the road, tightly packed in, and then the residential can continue down over here. We need a bit of a buffer zone down here, of course. Or do we put the university down over here? If we can fit it. Hmm. Maybe put the hostels down there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the university over here. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. I think. Yes, there we go. Done, and then the uh, residences 
You know, we've got a couple different shapes. We can do these ones. They'll fit nicely. Because what happens is the students live at the uh, residences rather than taking up space at home. So it's easier for them to get to uh, university. I can put you down like over here. Or I can just go with these. Put one up over here. Barely. Just barely. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. Come on now. Where were you? I saw you. I know you're... There we go. Okay, so we do that. I could get another one down over here. I don't know if I need it. I don't know if I need it. I just know I know I can fit it, but I don't know if I need it. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, and let's go ahead and connect you like... So... Ah, I would have loved to have that connection. Would love to have that connection. Let's see if we can't cancel that. Make you like so. There we go. Beautiful. That's a lot better, I think. It goes straight from there to there. And we can put down some trees for good measure. They, uh, they grow like the minds of our children, right? Like the minds of our children. You just gotta nurture them. Alright, sweet. So that's gonna be nice, I think. Um, have post-secondary education available relatively close to home. People can be driven there. We'll get a bus going that drops people off down there. I think that'll be good. Alright, back on task over here. My apologies. Now, we wanted to get a high voltage wire, 18 megawatts. I don't know if we need 18 megawatts, but I guess you might as well, right? If we pull that out this way, oh, that is, that is big. That is big. Building in the way. Which building? Which building? We got this, we got this, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Get rid of you. You know, we can go up this way. Wow. This is a... These things are chonky. Cancel that again. What about uh, up this way? There we go. Come on. Dense packing coming back to bite me again. As is tradition. Wouldn't have it any other way. Building is in the way. Just take the wires over top of the building. Come on. Yeah, this is the only spot we can kind of put this down. Right inside the building, apparently, is an option. <laughs> so says the game. Alright, not a problem, not a problem. What about we go down? I need to go this way, right? There we go. Right down to here, maybe. Sure, down to there. Further down this way. There we go. And then down and over. Cool. Oof. That was rough. So you go down this way. We need a high voltage switch. Not a transformer. Because right, a transformer will make it all small. I need a high voltage switch. I'll put down over here, like so. Flatten the train a little bit, not the end of the world. Right? And then the this power comes through here, and then it continues on this way, because we've got to connect it to this steel mill. So you go all the way over this way, and then hopefully... Well, sorry, I went a little too far there. I keep forgetting the angle thing. So we've got to rotate it gradually. Let's go up to here. Come on. There it was. There we go. And then down here, building's in the way. Fair enough. Over and around, then. Over and around. There we go. Beautiful. 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 And... No, okay. Not, not so beautiful. Not so beautiful. Not the end of the world, though. Because we can just do this. Pull you down here. Pull you up like so. And then up like so. And done. Cool. So that's our steel mill connected. Um, I might actually want to get a substation down over here as well. That would maybe not be a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and get rid of this middle section over here. And right, so a high voltage switch. 
no, a high voltage power transformer, which goes over here. Yeah, the conveyor belts can find their way around it, I think. I can also put it down somewhere over here. Maybe not a bad idea. Need flat terrain. Go ahead and flatten it then. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We'll rotate it a touch just so it uh, can connect more easily. Like so. A little bit more flattening required. Oh, actually we'll need a switch and a... Uh, like, we'll need a switch as well as a uh, transformer. So then, is this one really necessary? Where is it? This one? I guess not. Why build two, right? So fine, let's go ahead and put you down over here. So that you can connect like so. And then one goes out and down. And then one goes into this. Okay, yeah, we do need two. Oh, cool. So you are now a power transformer. X, this is messy. Just a touch. Just a touch. We got this, though. Alright, cool. So this is what I want. No, this is not what I want. This is what I want. No, this is what I want. Okay. I'm trying to find, like, the perfect angles, right, to make it look as good as possible. There we go. So over here comes the transformer now. Which we put down, let's say, over here. A little bit of flattening required is all. Good stuff. And then we can connect this to here. Cool. So all that power is surging through the lines, being split over here first. Some of it's going to be brought down to a, uh, to a transformer and then distributed down over here. Some of it's going through here, being split. Uh... A huge chunk of it's going to the steel mill, and then part of it is being split into smaller parts. I don't know if we need a big chunk of power up there, but we can probably bring it up from this transformer, right? Medium voltage wires now. We need a substation. Where should we put the substation down is the question. Hopefully somewhere where we can get maximum coverage. Like over here, something feels perfect, right? Seems like it covers everything. Yes. So let's see if we can't fit it here nicely. Allow me to build it. Let's face the right direction. A little bit of flattening. No road connection, which is worrying only if uh, there's a fire, obviously. A risk I'm willing to take, perhaps. We don't have fires at our uh, sources of power. No such thing. Put you over here. Put you over here. There we go. This looks a little bit neater. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that should supply power to everything over here. We're not going to build this just yet. We don't need to pay for all that. Um, oh, I'll have to delete this, one I? Because I can't select and build individual power. Or can I? I guess I can commission it, so I should be able to. Alright, cool. So down over here, the high voltage gets brought down to where? Here-ish. Again, we need to do the whole song and dance, right? We need to split it into low power. Not split, but transform it into low power. So I'm trying to think if we bring it all the way down here or do we kind of go across the mountains? It would look quite nice, I think. We kind of do like this and then go up over here, then go across the mountains, past the conveyor belt, say up to here, and then back down off the mountains and transform it down over here. We have the power transformer over here. We got the road here. Well, that's our outer limit for um, for these mines, right? Put the power transformer down over here. Nah, we can't really fit it nicely. Down over here, perhaps. Oh yeah, that would work. Good central spot. A very central spot. Clearings available for all the uh, outputs as needed. Let's go ahead and do it like so. I think road can come through down here, maybe. Looking like it. All right, let's try this. Let's try this out. See if this works. So if I put you down over here, and the road come through. It cannot. Oh, there's a bit of room here. 
bit of room here. All right, so in that case, can we perhaps move this a little bit further? All right, high voltage, power transformer. Yes, we can. The question becomes, can the medium voltages get out from over here? Yes, they can. Okay, good. That was the, that was the big concern. All right, there we go. So that's power being supplied over here. Well, it's got to come down from up on high. There we go. So bring you down this way. We're really bringing maybe too much power down here, honestly. Maybe a little bit too much power. Oh, come on. Don't give me the extra post. There we go. Cool. It's so weird to look at the power being laid out like this. But yeah, this should be... Alright, so we're, we're getting high voltage coming down over here. Splits up over here, comes down, gets transformed into medium voltage, which is used to then power our uh, V-Raw industries. And then obviously down here as well for our oil. Uh, then we've got the rest of it being split up over here, and some of it will be carried over to here. I don't know. I don't think we'll need another high voltage connection down there. But if we do, we can add another split somewhere over here, right? We can, we can do that. Shouldn't be a problem. Now, for all this to work, though, this power plant needs to be working constantly at maximum efficiency. Well, a little short of maximum is fine, but it needs to be working constantly. We can no longer have people uh, no-showing for work, you know? Um, and hopefully they won't with our main transit line there being connected to, well, party power. We should never see that problem arise again. Now, let me really quickly check over here. We've spent a lot of money, of course, our imports... Looking pretty good. No food, no clothes, no iron, no crops. Good stuff. But are people going hungry? Are people dying? People are... Food is looking good. Across the board over here. Here as well. Pretty good. 99s and 100s. That's good. That's good. Beautiful. Down over here, we should be good as well. Oh, this new tool is fantastic. 95% here. Without power supply. Really? Oh. These poor unfortunate souls, I gotta sort that out. Since we're making some power moves, I guess, today, why not? Go ahead and see what we can do. Are you a switch or a substation? You're a substation. Alright, alright. I should maybe get another switch going. We have this output over here. Alright, let's go ahead and get the medium voltage. I think we can probably do 1.5s. Out over there. Go down the backyards of all of these humble folk. End up over here. Let's go ahead and get our rural style substation, right? Um, yeah, electric. No, not the switch. I keep doing... I keep... Yeah, substation. There we go. It's down over here. And then get the wires done. There we go. Beautiful. And that should be able to cover a good bit of ground over here. A little bit of overlap, but that should be good. Eventually, maybe we'll move it to the... Maybe I should have put it on the other side of the street or something. But I don't know how much farther Brixtonia is going to expand. All right, so am I going to go ahead and commission all of these cables? I think we're good to do that. Let me take a moment before I commit to that. I, I want to do a quick review of this stuff. I want to do a quick review of that stuff. But first, let me see. Are we seeing construction continue over here? Looks like a yes. Good stuff. Now, again, we can just kind of pay for all this stuff, but it's going to be very expensive. 28k for what's left up there. Another 31 here. 12 here. What's what about this section? Yeah, that's another 31. What what about what's left to go? That's what I'm very curious about. We have about wow, 797 million worth of track to lay down still. And we're not even done with all this uh track. There's still so much to do over there. Actually, hold on. On the topic of track, what's the deal here? All right, we're good. No more jamming. Good stuff, good stuff. And on the topic of tracks, also What's the deal up over here? Any jamming? Yes, of course there is. Back to the customs house with you. Should be clear to move. 
you've got clothes to bring down. All right. And on the topic of clothes, actually, where are... Where's the ship? Okay, the ship's over here with the clothes. Not able to drop them off here. I imagine we're topped up. Yep. And we are emptied out on crops, topped up on steel, and lots of bricks as well. I... Why am I... Wow. That should be like an even split. Are we bringing any steel back? I should hope not. 16 tons. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We're fine. Now, crops over here. Yep, 568 tons. Excellent. Over here, 61 tons. And over here, 41 tons. See what I mean? Like, this does get emptied out. I'm almost guaranteed that this is where crops are being imported. Almost guaranteed. Anyway. That's uh, working now, though, is the, is the important part. Imports this year so far, almost 400k. Last month were over 400k. Oh, the, the month just ended. Okay, so last month was 400k. Let's see if this month is lower. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Again, the coal here is still unfortunately being imported. Man, even more construction offices working on this. And what's the deal down over here? You are almost done. Very close. This one is done. Beautiful. Do we have any more 21s living with their parents? 47 of them. 47 of them. These guys have all spread out up over here. This is where we have a lot of... Uh, People getting stuck living with their parents, right? Go ahead and move from you down to here. Sorry, where am I? Down over here. And wait until this is done so we can start supplying workers in this area as well. Okay, move all of you down there. 13 workers without a job. I mean, I guess I gotta get more stuff done. Looks like the universities are well under construction, so that's good. All those construction offices auto-assigning themselves. It isn't bad because we're seeing progress. Like dumpers that have done dumping down over here can now go and dump elsewhere, for example, right? Like that's all good. What I wish, though, is that we had workers down south. So, you know, what? we're actually going to suspend the construction on the university. It's a massive construction site. Okay, fine. The university can go. The, uh, the, the, the hostels can wait. Because I want to see some progress down over here. I want to see some progress down over there. But folks, uh, that progress will, unfortunately, have to wait. This is where we're going to call it a session. Made some, uh, made some good progress today, I would say. Uh, you know, developed our entire power grid for, uh, across the mountain. Didn't get to the oil like I'd initially hoped for, unfortunately. But hey, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if that, uh, at least I hope I said I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Oh, look at that. Ain't that a an interesting view? Just up the mountainside over here. Yeah, and I wish I could change the elevation a bit more elegantly for the camera. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. But yeah, I think it was very important that we got all the power grid structure figured out. Uh, solved another jam issue. Hopefully that's a permanent solution with the uh, waypoints bringing cars, or rather bringing vehicles from alternate directions and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is uh, feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with our moves so far. Our economy is looking solid. Our imports are still a bit more than I would like, but, you know, we've, we've taken care of all the essentials. Wow, we don't... Yeah. Hey, I just realized. We no longer import the essentials. And our, and our people are well supplied. Well, at least the last time we checked they were. Let's not check again now and sour the mood at the end of this session. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes such a big difference in how I approach stuff on the channel. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.